Durban. We've got a Durbanite on our Skype with us. And uh, yes, uh, myself, uh, Giovanni Bobo and Nick Mallet. Quick chat uh, to Sean Pollock after what we saw there. Shawnee, absolutely a pleasure to have you on A Real Sports Show. <laughs> thanks, thanks, guys. Good to be here. Yeah, thanks very much. <laughs> thanks very much for joining us. Um, you are obviously watching those two results um, very, very closely. Uh, wonderful going uh, by the Proteas. A lot of people talking about the fact that it was a slightly watered down Australian side. We don't really care. We're just celebrating. How good is it to have three in a row, considering the box as well against the Aussies? Yeah, it was superb. And we don't care, as you say, about the watered down team. Uh, over the years, we had to fight Australia with many strong teams. So if we get an opportunity to dominate them for a period of time, why not? Um, but yeah, it's been really good from the, the cricketers. Uh, it was also great to see um, how, how well the, the rugby players went. Um, and yeah, it was a really good weekend. It was lovely to be in the commentary box with Ellen Border and, and Brendan Julian, just to be talking rugby, cricket, anything, South Africa versus Australia. The one thing that um, we can't say was absolutely the same was the level of dominance that we saw in the cricket pitch versus the rugby field. It was a much closer match uh, and in Pretoria um, for the rugby boys, but uh, what, 142 run win, um, which was preceded by that six wicket victory. That's absolutely dominant. You must be quite chuffed at what you've seen. And yes, there will be changes for the return leg and the test, uh, for the test series, uh, but absolutely fantastic to see that level of dominance. It is. Uh, I mean, Australia are missing the, the likes of Mitchell Stark in the bowling department. It's pretty weak, so there's no surprise that we'll dominate them there. Um, but I think just there's been polished performances from South Africa. You know, you can only beat what's put in, in front of you, um, and they've managed to do that. We were at uh, Loftus for the rugby, um, both the Australian and South African teams and the commentators and the match officials, so it was great to be there to witness that picture as well. But yeah, the South Africans have done everything right. Um, and it's, as you mentioned now, it's been very easy uh, wins for them. And they'll be hoping to wrap up the series here on Wednesday. So, Sean, Nick, yeah, just uh, a, a quick one on, on bo both cricket and rugby played down in Durban. And uh, what's the weather going to be like? And how do you think the, the pitches, or particularly the pitch, will make a difference, I think, won't it, for the Australian bowlers? In that it seems around, it doesn't it? Yeah, it will. I mean, if, if you're going to pick the easiest wickets to bet on in our country, it'll be up in the half field. So the Wanderers and Pretoria um, are, are, are bowlers' graveyards, if you want to put it that way. So I'm sure they'll get a little bit more assistance. But invariably, we get a little bit more bounce at Kingsmead, so, so that should be OK. Um, Weather-wise, it's looking good. I think there might be a bit of rain coming into the end of the weekend, which might interrupt a golf day on Friday, <laughs> which is not very really good. Um, I'll be playing with Jeff Wilson and Justin Marshall there in the golf day, so we'll be able to get their insights into the rugby. Take their um, money. Take yeah, their money. <laughs> Are they thieves? Have you played with them before? Do I have to worry about the well, handicaps? What, whatever their handicaps, they say their handicaps are just half it. Don't play off their handicaps. They cheat those New Zealanders. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we're talking uh, golf as well as uh, cricket and rugby. But, Shawnee, your opinion on what you saw with the Springboks? Uh, you were there. You watched uh, the Springboks go. It was a very tense match. It wasn't as dominant, as I mentioned, as it was uh, on the cricket pitch. But what did you uh, make of that? Yeah, I think sometimes, I mean, we all know sport and, and how it can be. Uh, sometimes a messy result in your favour is exactly the tonic that the, the side requires. I mean, as romantics, as fans, we sit there all the time hoping that we'll see an expansive game and, and really something that keeps you on the end of your seat. But uh, it was a tight encounter, um, good to be part of and good to be in, in that atmosphere. And I suppose the, the South African or the Springboks will be very happy that they've taken a win um, and hopefully they can build on that. I'm sure it's going to be a big one uh, against uh, the All Blacks this weekend. Oh, you're a Durbanite through and through. Before I let you go, uh, what happened in the Carry Cup? Don't go this... the Sharks. Don't what go the Sharks. happened in the Carry Cup this year? <laughs> is, is the Carry Cup taking place this year? Don't wait for next year. Sorry, Yeri. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Sean, absolutely a pleasure to have you on TMO, um, brother. We will be watching uh, the, with interest uh, the rest of the test the, of the one day series. I think a uh, great start and hopefully a lot of confidence picked up by a lot of the new players who have now been introduced. Uh, as well, but um, things not looking too bad for South African cricket going forward. Yeah, the young boys have done well, and, and long may that continue, especially when we head off to Australia later this year. Absolutely looking forward to that, and uh, certainly appreciate you joining us uh, on TMO. It's the first to have a cricketer uh, on the rugby show, and uh, I think certainly reason to celebrate after what we saw this past weekend. Cheers, Sean. Thanks, guys. Good fun.